Well, if you use compost or other organic material and dig it into the clay or the sandy soil, when this gets broken down in clay soils by microbes, they glue soil particles together. So that makes spaces between those soil particles so water can penetrate and nutrients are held by the soil part, uh, clay particles itself. In sandy soils, the organic matter helps to hold that water and the nutrients and then they don't leach away. So for both types of soils, they're gluing together of particles by microbe. It actually stabilises the soil and it reduces the erosion, which is another factor to consider. So what I would do if you wanted to improve your soil is get some compost, put a good amount of seamungous pellets in, dig it into your clay, your sandy soil, and within a few months your soil structure should be improved significantly. And obviously seamungous is organic and seaweed component, plus the humates actually then also reduces your leaching of nutrients. Yes, that uh, sea mungus is just an absolute cracker. If you want to improve your soil structure, listeners, and reduce the loss of nutrients, uh, especially if we're starting to get rain in a lot of our audience regions, uh, and get some compost with the sea mungus into your soil, that's going to work an absolute treat. Sea mungus is available from Bunnings, uh, various other hardware outlets, and, of course, at good garden centres. Thanks for your time again. Some wise advice there, Dr. Yui. No problems. Enjoy your weekend, Graham. You Bye-bye. too, pal. Yeah, great rain. Uh, and uh, when you get that rain, that's when you need to get the sea mungus out into the garden. Uh, let's uh, see if we can get back to calls, if we can squeeze in.